and we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together, Lord have mercy, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy, Lord have mercy. And we now sing our second hymn, Spirit, has got, Spirit of God as Strong as the Wind. Well done, you sang very well again, and we now bow our heads in prayer. God, our Father, we thank you for the stories Jesus told that teach us about you. We thank you for our families and for all the people that help keep us safe and healthy every day. Help us to remember that we are all part of your family and that Jesus is our friend. Amen. And now you'll be very pleased to know that I've got Fabian, who's coming to read the story for us right now. The helper arrives. Jesus told his friends to wait in Jerusalem, to wait for the helper he had promised to send them. So they waited, they waited and they prayed for 40 days. And while they waited, the streets of Jerusalem filled up with people from every land, people from the north and from the south, people from the east and from the west, people from all around the world who came together to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Jesus' friends were in an upstairs room when suddenly some surprising things began to happen. They heard a wind blow harder than the fiercest storm, and nothing was blown about. They heard the flickering of flames, and they watched tongues of fire lick and lap their hands and their heads, and nobody smelled any smoke. And then the Helper came, the Holy Spirit, and he filled them all with the presence and the power of God. And what they heard next was talking. Strange words pouring out of each and every mouth. So they rushed outside, eager to tell the crowd what had happened. And now, suddenly, everyone could understand. People from the north and the south, people from the east and from the west, people from all around the world. For now, Jesus' friends were able to speak in foreign languages, languages they had never learned before, all because of God's Holy Spirit. What better way to tell the world about Jesus? So that's what it's all about, said a man from Spain. That's amazing, said a woman from Africa. Tell me again, asked a man from France. 
but there were others who thought Jesus' friends were just talking nonsense. These people are drunk, one man shouted. It's nothing but a load of gibberish. And that's when Peter stood up. Peter, who had been with Jesus from the start. Peter, the fisherman. Peter, who had never made a speech in his life. Listen, everybody, he shouted. We are not filled with wine. We're filled with something else. God's own Holy Spirit. Let him wash away all the bad things you have done, and you'll receive his Holy Spirit too. So that's what the people did. Three thousand of them. They told God they were sorry. They were baptized, and they were filled with God's Holy Spirit. People from the north and from the south. People from the east and from the west. People from all over the world. Thank you very much, Fabian, for that lovely reading about the Feast of Pentecost. We heard some unusual things. We heard about tongues of fire coming down on the disciples, and we heard about a mighty wind uh, coming from goodness knows where. And then we heard at the end of it that everyone was baptised. Now, there's a lot to take in in this story, and Christians have had to try, try to make sense of it all. And as I said at the beginning of the service, there is a thing called Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Uh, in the Christian faith. We don't believe in just one God, but God in three persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, or put another way, holy, holy, holy. And that's sometimes hard to understand. However, there is a very good story which helps you understand it. And it's very helpful that I have Fabian with me today uh, because he's going to help me illustrate the story. So you'll just have to bear with us whilst I tell you about Jesus's baptism. So Fabian's going to come into the picture with me now. If you'd like to come here. Crouch down a bit. Now Fabian, as you know, is my son. So I am the father. This is the son. And if you remember the story of Jesus being baptised in the River Jordan, when he was baptised, he was baptised and the Holy Spirit descended on his head in the form of a dove. But Fabian and I came to look round the house for a dove and we didn't have one. The best we could do was a coot, which I bought in Canada. But if you remember the story, the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus in the form of a dove, here represented by my friendly coot. But have a closer look at this and you've got me, the father, Fabian, the son, and the Holy Spirit resting on his head. That is why we have God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, or put another way, Holy, Holy, Holy. The Trinity is very hard to understand, but if you can understand the story of Jesus's baptism, represented here by me, Fabian, and the Holy Ghost, then you've understood the Trinity perfectly. And that is a wonderful thing. Amen. OK, thank you. And for your activity today, children, I want you to think about different countries of the world, some that you might have visited, some that you might like to visit, or some that you may have learnt about at school. And then think of the different languages that are spoken there and try writing some of that language down on a bit of paper and then saying it all together. That gives you an idea of what the disciples encountered, encountered at the Feast of Pentecost. And imagine what it might be like if you could all understand each other. Good luck. And let us pray. Holy Spirit, blow on me like the wind that refreshes the air, making me open to new possibilities fresh avenues for thought and unimagined directions for action. Rest upon me your flames of fire so that my motivation to serve you may burn more brightly. Transform me through your power so that I speak your name with confidence, sure of your ever-present love. Amen. And we pray to God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We pray for all those who work for peace in our world that they may have courage and strength to carry on searching for peace, even in the most difficult times. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. 
We pray for all people and especially those who've lived through war and conflict. Filled by the power of the Holy Spirit, may they find it in their hearts to move forward in peace and forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish, family and friends, so that we may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to spread Christ's message of peace in all that we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we now sing our final hymn, We Shall Go Out With Joy. The spirit of truth leads us into all truth. Give us grace to confess that Jesus is Lord and strengthen us to proclaim the word and works of God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen.